Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here with another game from my Chicago Bears 2023 or 2022 Bears season. And uh, we have the standings up on the board so you can see where we are. We're still 3-10. and We played a couple more games if we look at the schedule here. Um, the last game that I put up was against the Jets that we lost 24-17. Then we played the second game against Green Bay and we lost 24-13. And so now we are playing the Philadelphia Eagles on uh, December 18th of the schedule. And we're still 3-10. and So, I mean, if you remember, the Bears finished the season in 2022 with three wins. So there's no guarantees that we're going to get that fourth win. I mean, we play Philadelphia, then we play Buffalo, then we go at Detroit. And as you can see, the first game against Detroit was um, was a hell of a shootout. We, we lost 52-38. And then we play Minnesota. And we, I believe, we did lose to Minnesota uh, previously. So, or did we? Let's see. Where's the last Minnesota game? The other Minnesota game. There it is. And we did lose 27-16. So there's no guarantees we're going to get that fourth win. But let's let's give it the old college try. We're going to sim the week. Play one week. And I want to say Vegas is a lot worse off than we are. They're 1-11. So, yeah, you're looking at the standings here. Um, Philadelphia is 10 and 2, and that, that's pretty roughly, um, what they, is it what they were last year? Maybe not, but this year they are more like that. Um, and so we're going to see what we can do against the Philadelphia Eagles. And, uh, so let's see. Yeah. Um, auto play, we're going to auto play the, uh, away team. So, hopefully this works. Uh, I don't know what it's doing. Um, maybe I have to do another week. Maybe I have to do another week. I mean, it says manual, so it shouldn't play any manual game. So let's play one week again. Let's see what we come up with. So, yeah, we're going to see what we can do against Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. And Vegas did get their second win. Let's see if they won here. We'll take a look. All right, there we go. No problems found. And uh, no, they, Vegas did not win that game. And so here we go. So now we are playing against Philadelphia, and um, we are going to launch the new game. And we're kicking off. I guess they won the toss and elected to receive. And we're home, but I don't think that's going to help us. We're kind of not that good. And they're, they're going to get a hell of a return here. The punter's going to have to stop the kick returner at the 40. So, the, uh, yeah. Now, let's go over the Eagles' offense. They're going to have, uh, the flanker is Devonta Smith. The tight end is Jack Stoll. The right tackle is Lane Johnson. The right guard is Isaac Semola. The uh, center is Jason Kelsey. The uh, left guard is Landon Dickerson. The left tackle is Jordan Malaita. The second tight end is Dallas Goddard. Then at split end, you got A.J. Brown. You've got, of course, Hertz at quarterback. And uh, he has uh, he completed 66.5% uh, of his passes with only a 1.3 interception percentage rate. And you're going to have Miles Sanders in the backfield. 
Defensively, we're going to line up as uh, Travis Gibson. Uh, left tackle is going to be Justin Jones. The safety is going to be Eddie Jackson. The right tackle will be Armand Watts. The right end will be Dominique Robinson. At left, at right linebacker, you've got Joe Thomas. At middle linebacker, you got Jack Sanborn. At left linebacker, you got Nicholas Morrow. Left cornerback is Kyler Gordon. The strong safety is Jaquan Brisker. And the uh, cornerback, right cornerback, is Jalen Johnson. So with all of that out of the way, I am going to... I'm, you know what? I'm going to start off looking for the run from Sanders. No, they're going to pass. I, I put all those eggs in that basket, and then it, he completed a long pass for 12 yards. So, to Goddard. 12-yard completion to Goddard. Uh, I'm going to look for the run again because I think you're going to run. And I'm going to key on Sanders. And he does, and we do get him pretty quickly. And uh, But three yards. I mean, we were keying on We were looking for the run and keying on him. He still got three yards. That's how bad that is. So now I'm going to look for the pass. We got a second and seven from the uh, from our own they're on our 45 he is passing he's back to pass and we stop him one yard before the marker so AJ Brown on a hitch and we got him we stopped him right before the marker now let's see if we can stop the uh, uh, the uh, what is it the brotherly uh, the whatever the push but whatever they call it uh, I'm going to go run a key on Jalen Hurts. And no, they run the ball with the other guy, with the running back. They didn't do the brotherly shove, that's what they call it. They didn't do the brotherly shove, but, you know, in real life they probably would have. So they got a first and 10 at our 34, and I am going to put in the pass defense. And he does pass. And it doesn't really matter. We uh, <laughs> we allow him to get an 11-yard pass on that. Nice to know that it doesn't really matter what I put in. I'm just going to put in a run. <laughs> I'm putting in a general run. Because, I mean, we're not going to stop him passing, probably. Ooh, but we did. But it's maybe just because it was incomplete on his card. But anyway, it is an incompletion. So now they have a second and ten. At our 23. Now I'm going to put in pass. And they run the ball. And they run the ball with... Uh, yeah, they did that. It looks like they did the brotherly shove right there. 13 yards for Hertz. Ah, this is gonna. It's going to be a tough day. So you can see Hertz today has one rush for 13 yards. And he's like 3 for 4 passing. Um, I'm going to put in the pass defense. I mean, I don't know what to look for. With the, I mean, and they, they throw a touchdown pass. Shocker. I think it's going to be a long day, everyone. <laughs> so uh, um, we're going to put in the kick block. I don't really know, again, what the difference is between a kick block and a click, kick defense. So they're up 7 nothing. He's 4 of 5 Hertzes for 39 yards and a touchdown. And uh, we will receive the kickoff. We'll see what happens here, whether they uh, do the, it goes into the end zone for a touchback or what. No, it doesn't. And we are returning it. And it's a nice return. It is a very nice return. We're going to get it out to the 43. We got a better starting position than the Eagles had. But, of course, we also are not very good. So anyway, let's go over our offense. We're going to have uh, the split end is Equaminis St. Brown. I don't know how to pronounce his first name. Wide receiver is Byron Pringle. On the front line, you've got left tackle Braxton Jones. Left guard Cody Whitehair. The center is Sam Mustafir. The right guard is uh, Tavan Jenkins. The right tackle is Riley Reif. The tight end is Cole Komet. 
got uh, Darnell Mooney out at flanker. David Montgomery is the halfback, and of course Fields at quarterback. And Fields had a 60.4% in uh, completion percentage with 3.5 interception percentage. Um, I'm going to start right off with a long to Mooney. Let's just let's just loosen up this uh, this Eagles defense quickly, and see if that helps. And it doesn't. It's just behind the receiver, so it's incomplete. We got a second and ten. Let's go look in pass to the split end St. Brown. And he's looking, he's jockeying for position, and he can't complete it. Now, if you've watched some of the other games that I have televised, you'll know that Fields is terrible at high percentage passes. So now we're going to go short. We're going to go short, medium to Mooney. And I think they're going to flush him out of the pocket, which is not a great idea, although it did work for him right there. <laughs> he, uh, he ran the ball, and he only got one yard. So we're going to have to punt. That was not a very good series of downs for us. And we will punt the ball. So there is 8.57 left in the first quarter. And... Uh, and they are winning 7 nothing, and they're not even going to be starting at the 20. So this time we've got them, we pinned them up further back, but uh, that's, is that really going, well, there's a flag on the play. Hopefully it's on Philadelphia. It should be on Philadelphia. Yep, offside being called against Philadelphia. So they have a first and 15 on our 13. Now I am definitely looking past. So let's see if we can stop them here. But, I mean, I don't know. And that was overthrown. So Hertz overthrew um, Quez Wa uh, Watkins. And they've got a second and ten. We're going to go pass. Looking for the pass, and they it's incomplete. So they're going to have a third, or not, it wasn't second and 10, it was second and 15, and they're going to have a third and 15 right here from their own 13. And I'm going to pass, I'm going to put in the pass defense and double team Brown. And they run the ball, and we do get them right before he gets the first down. So I do expect him to punt. And we'll put in the punt return. So they're punting from deep in their own end. That might bode kind of uh, well for us. We're going to receive the ball at uh, the 34-yard uh, line, and I'm going to try to catch it and run with it. And we're going to get cross. We're in their territory. We're at the Eagles 39-yard line to start. So we're almost in field goal range as it is. 7.15 left in the first quarter. I'm going to go end run with Montgomery. And he gets stopped after a very quick takedown, right after just one yard. So we got a second and nine. Second and nine. Let's go off tackle with Montgomery. Let's see if they're ready for that. They're ready for that. He gets nothing on that. One yard. He got another yard. So we got a third and eight. Third and eight. Uh, let's go... Let's go look in pass again, but this time to Komet. And he misses Komet. Now, you know what? Uh, we're in no man's land right here at the 37, Philadelphia 37. We can't kick a field goal because it's a little too far for that. But we can try to throw a flat pass to Montgomery. Oh, no! They sacked him. They sacked us on a flat pass. I'm like, is there even such a thing as a sack on a flat pass? 
All right, so uh, we did not stop them. They have a first and 10 at the 43 now, taking over on downs. I'm going to put in the run defense first to start with. No, you're gonna, they're going to pass. The thing about this Bears defense is you can't afford to be wrong. But we do knock it down, so it's going to be second and 10. He was uh, targeting A.J. Brown on that one, but it didn't work out for him. Now I'm going to put in the pass defense. Oh, we're offsides, it looks like. And they will let him play, and he gets the first down, so I don't know what he'll pick. He could pick either one. And he's got a first and ten at the 47. I am going to put in the pass. And he is passing, so we were right. What does that do for us? Nothing, except that we do knock it down, or it's incomplete, or he didn't uh, get the ball to Brown, or whatever. So, second and ten from our 47. Now I'm going to put in the run. No, he's passing. He's passing. And he's passing the bomb, and he completes it to Devonta Smith. Oh boy. So anyway, we've got they've got a first and 10 at our 17. I'm going to look run and Keon Sanders. And they're passing, of course. It's incomplete though. Now I'm going to look run again. I think he'll go to the run again. And I am going to key on Sanders. And uh, somebody's running. And they are going to be all alone and running for a touchdown. No penalty on the play because, you know, I mean, it looked like some maybe there was some holding going on there. But, no, it's a 17-yard run for Jalen Hurts. And we're going to put in the kick block. And, oh, there's a penalty. And it's against Philadelphia. So we're going to put in the kick block again. I, don't, I still don't expect him not to make it, and he does make it. So it's going to be 14 nothing. 14 nothing, and we're still in the first quarter. 3.20 left in the first quarter. So we'll see if we can make this a, make some kind of a comeback, make a game out of this. I mean, there's been a couple of games I've put up where we were down a lot early like this, and we mounted a comeback. Um, or not really. A, I mean, we didn't come from behind to win. I don't want to. I don't want to leave you with that impression. But we did. <laughs> but we did uh, make it a game. Now Herbert, Herbert up the middle, and he gets some yards. He gets 11 yards on that. So. There, and, you know, as the game gets more and more out of uh, out of whack, they will play more and more for the pass. Uh, I'm going to go line buck with Herbert now. And he's going to get another burst of great yardage. And we're in Philadelphia territory. Herbert, man. I can't wait to see this. We're going to look at this little box and see what he is after this run. Um, he has two rushes for 38 yards, a 19-yard average. Okay, now let's try the flat pass to commit. Again, these high-percentage passes, I don't know why Fields can't complete these, but he's a paraplegic as far as those go. But he does complete it to commit, so we're moving the ball this time. Finally, we are moving the ball. A nine-yard completion to commit. And uh, I'm going to go draw play with Fields. And he's going to get some yards, and he does, and we have a first down. So Fields gets five yards on that draw play, and um, we have a first and ten to Philadelphia 23. Let's go off tackle with Herbert. I mean, it worked really well against them, and it still works pretty well against them. They're, uh, I guess they had a weakness for the run. 
which I wish I had known that right at the start of the game. I should have checked it. But anyway, we have a second and five. Let's go line buck with Herbert. Oh, that time they were ready for it. So he, uh, he lost two yards on that one. We're going to have a third and seven coming up. Third and seven, let's go short pass to Mooney. Oh, he's going to sack me. That son of a biscuit. All right, he sacks me for an eight-yard loss. I guess we're going to send out the field goal unit. I mean, I would have gone for it. Really, down there, I would have gone for it. On, uh, but we got a fourth and 15, so I'm not going to try that. And there is a penalty. I wonder who it's on. I didn't see. I didn't see if there was movement. But anyway, uh, if I accept the penalty, it's Chicago ball on the Philadelphia twenty-three, fourth and ten. If I decline it, it's fourteen to three. Um. Fourth and ten. I still wouldn't go for it on fourth and ten, so I'm going to decline it. If it were fourth and seven, like it originally was, or less, then I would have I would have tried to go for it. But we're not going to do that here. 14:05 left in the first half, and we are down 14 to three. And I'm going to look for the pass. And he is back in passing, and we sacked him. Nice. We sacked Hertz. He's dropped for a 70-yard loss. I mean, we're really going to need, um, we're definitely going to need Hertz to make a mistake, like throw an interception, or not Hertz specifically, but the Eagles. We're going to need a turnover, something like that. Well, we get him. Hertz runs the ball, though, for 11 yards. And uh, they've got a third and six. I'm going to look for the pass. He is passing. And we're right there, whether he caught it or not. We were right there. And, yeah, it was a one yard, a loss of one yard for Goddard. So we're going to put in the punt return. Now, if we can move the ball and get a, maybe a touchdown on this one, and then we're back in business. It's only 14-10 if we can get a touchdown. But we're going to let the ball just bounce and uh, rest at the 26-yard line. 49-yard punt for the Eagles. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start out again with long. We're going to go long to St. Brown. Every once in a while, we got to stretch this defense out. And uh, I don't know if that will work. It, it doesn't there for sure. All right, now, um, hmm. the run game has been working. Herbert has been great. Let's try him off tackle. And he does get some good yards. He got about six there, I would say. Uh, no, five. He got five. So, we got a third and five. Hmm. I'm going to, against my better judgment here, I'm going to go flat pass to Montgomery. And it's incomplete. Now the question is, do I go for it? Do I go for a fourth, a fourth and five on our own 31? But the answer is no. <laughs> I will not do that. We will punt. It's 14 to 3. We stopped them last time. Maybe we can manage to do that again. I don't know. And maybe we can pick up a fumble. I am going to fall on the ball. So, there we go. Good decision to punt there. Now a touchdown seems like it would be in the realm of doability. Um, I'm going to do a short pass to Mooney. Except that he's going to get sacked. All right. Uh, 
Let's try an end run with fields. He's running up the field, running up the field, running up the field, and he got a lot of yards there. He did. Got an 11-yard run for us, so he got a big chunk of that uh, lost yardage back. We have a third and six now. I am going to go line buck with Montgomery straight up. Just a straight up line buck. Oh! He nailed us immediately. I don't know. Third and... What do we got? Third and five now? I mean, if Fields could complete a flat pass, that would be one thing. We got a fourth and six at the 15. You know, I'll kick the field goal. I mean, field goals are not going to beat Philadelphia generally, but fourth and six, I don't want to walk away from this with no points. So it's now 14-6. to six. Now we're technically within one score if we could get an eight-point touchdown. So from that standpoint, it isn't as bad. But um, what is bad? Well, no, I mean, really. So we got nine minutes left in the half. I'm going to look for the run. I think you're going to come out and run the ball. No, you don't. You're going to pass again. Pass, pass, pass. And we stop him after nine yards, which is really not particularly good because they're going to get the first down. But I am going to look for the run on this one, too. And he's passing. He's passing on second and one. Yeah, why not? But it's still, now it's incomplete, and it's third and one. Third and one, I am going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Hertz. Let's see if he does that. And he, he, did, he did it, and I still couldn't get him. Hertz takes the ball on a sneak for six yards when I was exactly set up to stop that, that very same play. All right, well... Uh, first and 10 from the 40, I am going to put in the pass defense. And he runs the ball, of course. But we got him pretty quickly. Maybe two yards on that. The pitch out, three yards. Boston Scott got three yards on that. Now I'm going to put in the pass. Second and seven. And he runs again. And this time we do not get Boston Scott before he can get a first down. So he gets seven yards. Now all of a sudden they want to be the running team. Now they want to be the running Eagles. I'm just going to put in the balanced for this play. And uh, yeah, they get a 10-yard completion to A.J. Brown. So they're moving the ball. They're in our territory. They're at our 40-yard line. A lot of not goodness going on here, and they're up 14 to 6. I am going to put in the run. And he does run, and this time we get him in the backfield. We took Boston Scott down for a minus yard. And we are going to put in the pass, and I probably should double team somebody, so we'll double team Brown. No, he runs the ball, but he didn't get the first down. He got six yards, so that's going to leave him with a third and five. Third and five, I got to put in the pass. I know he could easily run the ball and get the first down, but we got to put in the pass defense, and we do, and uh, it's going to be incomplete. So now what is he going to do? Is he going to kick a field goal? He, maybe he can kick a field goal from there. He's at the 35, so that's like... Right on the fringe of field goal range for most guys. And he's going for it. Fourth and five, he's going for it. I got to put in the pass. And really, this is the call. I mean, this is what he should do. But it's incomplete. So it's going to be a turnover on downs, and we stop him again. First and 10 from the Chicago 35. Let's go. 
short to the split end. This time we'll start with a short pass. And he does complete it. So we are approaching Philadelphia territory. We got a first and 10 at the Chicago 47. Let's go off tackle with Montgomery. 412 left in the half. And Montgomery is really going to get us some yards here. We're in field goal range yet again. And let's see what Montgomery's doing on the day after this play, after this play is uh, all tallied. He has four rushes today for 30 yards, a 7.5 yard average. Um, I'm going to go look in to commit. He, it's just he cannot complete these high percentage passes. 337 left in the half. And we're going to have a second and 10 at the Philadelphia 25. Let's go flat pass to Montgomery. And that's going to be incomplete. That was to nobody. So we've got a third and 10 at the 25. You know what? I'm just going to do a draw play with fields. Try to get closer for a sure field goal and maybe a first down, but it doesn't happen. And fields only gets a yard, too. Zero. He gets zero yards. So we're going to try the field goal, which would make it 14-9 to nine if it's good. And it looks like it's going to be good. So, yeah, 14-9. to nine. So what started off as a romp by Philadelphia has become a very close game. We're only down by five points now. And so now I'm liking my decisions to keep kicking field goals, uh, even though generally you have to believe you're not going to beat Philadelphia with field goals. I'm still liking my decision to do that. There's a flag on the play. And uh, who is that on? Up, oh, it's on us. So they got a first and 10 at the 40. I'm going to run and key on. Oh, I, I already chose him. Dang. Well, it doesn't matter. And we got him before he could get out of bounds. So we have the two minute warning here 11 yard pass. And remember, we're going to get the kickoff in the second half. I'm going to put in the pass. Hertz drops back and throws a deep bomb that's good to A.J. Brown. So now he's got a field goal and in the bag, probably. So it's at least a 17-9 game, probably, here. I'm going to put in the run. And he does run. And we get him after maybe three yards. Yeah, so they got a second and seven. I'm going to put in the pass. And he runs the ball. And we can't even get him. I mean, he's just going to, he's going to get out of, he's going to step out of bounds at the one. I don't know why he didn't just go for the touchdown, but I mean, maybe they wanted to eat more time off the clock. I don't know. There's a minute seven left. I am definitely putting in the run and I'm going to key on Hertz. And, uh, well, he gave it to, uh, one of the backs who scored Gainwell so they have a touchdown uh, they're back ahead big time now it's 20 to 9 it's going to be 21 9 
So, 21 to 9. And we are going to accept the kickoff. There's only 52 seconds, so I'm just going to throw bombs and hope one of them connects. I'm going to take it for a touchback. And we're going to go long to St. Brown. Again, don't know how well that's going to do. It doesn't do very much there. It's an incomplete pass. We've got a second and 10 uh, at the Chicago 25 with 45 seconds left. We're going to go long to Mooney. Long to Mooney, and it's going to be over his head and right out in front of him and not anywhere close to him, really. And that brings up third now. Now I'll go short pass here to try to keep the ball, and uh, but still. And that is going to be complete. Let's see if I can call a timeout. Uh, hurry up. Let's go long to the flanker. And no, it's just off his fingertips. All right. Let's go. Let's try short again. This time to Claypool. Ah, he's going to be sacked. All right, third and 16, eight seconds left. Nope, that's it. So they kick off to us. I'm going to look at the halftime. I'm going to look at the stats from the first half as soon as we are out um, in our formation and ready to run a play. And we get a pretty good return. Yeah, really good return. Out to the 43 again. But that didn't do us a lot of good the first time we had the ball to 43 on a great return. Uh, let's take a look at the box score so far. You've got Hertz at 11 for 20. 135 yards and a touchdown. You got Fields at 3 of 13 for 34 yards. Um, Hertz has rushed five times for 65 yards. Miles Sanders has rushed five times for 17. Scott has rushed four for 22. Then for us, you got Khalil Herbert, who's rushed five times for 46 yards. Montgomery's rushed four times for 30. And Fields four times for 17 yards. So, and I'll let you guys look at the receiving stats just really quickly here before we go back out to game action. Uh, I'm going to go, I, I think we should go to the running game. I'm going to go off tackle with Herbert. And he gets a few yards, maybe three. Yep, three yards for Herbert. So we got a second and seven. I'm going to go line buck with Herbert. And he's going to get uh, almost a first down. Almost. So we're going to have a third and one coming up. Third and one at the Philadelphia 48. And I am going to go draw play with... No, I'm going to go line buck with the quarterback. He didn't make it, but I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try it again. That's what I'm saying. Yep, and they're telling me to do that, too. Line buck with the quarterback. And this time he does make it, and he gets a few extra yards, and we have a first down.
So, first and 10 at the Philadelphia 43. We're down 21 9. We're going to go off tackle with Herbert. And he's going to get a nice breakaway run. For some reason, we can run like all day long and twice on Sunday on this Philadelphia defense. Uh, let's go to the pro set. And, um, yeah, and Montgomery. And then we'll go line buck with Montgomery. And he's going to get a few yards. Inside run, and he gets five yards out of it. So we're going to have a second and five at the Philadelphia 23 or so. Second and five, let's go line buck. I just wanted, and mainly I just wanted to give Herbert a rest for a play, but definitely wanted him to take this ball on this down. He gets four yards, so we got a third and one. And, of course, I am going to go to the, yes, the stacked line and line buck with fields. And he does get the first down and a little more. So again, we continue to be able to run the ball on Philadelphia. Touchdown here would be nice. It would make it 21-16. Off tackle with the halfback. And he's going to run for a touchdown! So that's good. And you know what? I probably should try to go for two here. In fact, I definitely should. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go blocking back one fullback. No, let's, and we're going to. Wait a minute. Um, well, let's do that with Fields. Yeah. We're going to go line buck with Fields. Oh, he got stopped. All right. So it's going to be a, uh, and we're going to kick off, and it's we're down twenty-one fifteen. Down by six. Not ideal, but you know what? We'll take it. It's we're down by six with nine thirty-nine left in the third quarter. It is actually not that bad of a game. I'm going to put in the run defense. And he does run, uh, but that doesn't really seem to matter as he gets three or four yards out of it. Five. Five yards. My bad. So Joe Thomas, or Joe Thomas makes the tackle, but uh, there's a second and five now for him. I'm going to put in the pass. And there is a penalty on the play. Hopefully it's on him. It is not. So he's going to have a first and 10 at the Philadelphia 45. I am going to put in the run defense and key on Sanders. He does not do that. He's going to pass. And he's going to pass to a guy that's wide open and all alone. So uh, we're not having any luck stopping him here. Uh, I'm going to put in the pass defense. And that time he underthrew the receiver. Luckily, like in real football, he didn't come back to get it and plow into my defensive back and uh, draw a penalty. So we're going to put in the pass on second and 10 from the 43, and he runs the ball. And, of course, nobody can stop him. There's nobody even knowing that he's running the ball until he gets 10, 10 12 yards downfield, and he gets a 15-yard play out of that. Uh, I'm going to put in the pass. He is passing. We need another mistake from him. He already made one. He fumbled a kickoff. And that is the mistake we needed. Uh, I'm going to try to gain some yards, but I don't. And that is going to be a touchback. Okay, so we didn't, we weren't able to get it out of the end zone, but we do have a first and 10 at our 20. 
uh, down 2115. And I am going to go off tackle with Herbert. This time they were all over it. They read that one like a book. Let's try on second down, let's try a draw play. Draw play with Fields. And he's going to get some yards. He's going to get some yards on a first down. That's what we're talking about. He gets, uh, like, what, 12 yards on that? 15. Yeah, 15, because we had lost yards before. So he's got a first down. I am going to go line buck with Herbert. I mean, we're running at will on Philadelphia. I don't know what that's all about. We get a we gain two yards. Um, I got to do a draw play with Fields. We got to keep trying to run the ball because if we do, there's a chance that we can just keep the the you know keep the ball and keep the chains moving. If I do a pass and it's incomplete, then all of a sudden we're behind the eight ball. So I don't want that. I'm going to go line buck with Fields on fourth or third and two, and uh, it looks like we were offsides. Yep. So uh, that's the penalty right there. That's what you don't want. So now we've got a third and seven. We have to try to pass the ball. I am going to go short to the split end clay pool. So this is where, where um, yeah, it's incomplete. So. So we're going to have to punt. Fourth and seven, we're punting. 444 left in the third quarter. We're down 21-15. And he, you know what? He's not going to end up with great field position. It was a 55-yard punt and only a 13-yard return. He's got a first and 10 at his 23. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And he runs it. Gets about five or six off that. Yep, five. Got a second and five. I'm going to put in the run defense and see if he runs it. He does, but he runs it with... Was that Hurts? No, that's Sanders. I put in the run and he got 10 yards. Uh, I'm going to put in the pass defense. And uh, they get 12 yards off of that. 13. 13, my bad. So, first and 10 at the Chicago 49, I'm putting in the pass. It's about three yards on that. Four. So second and six for him. I'm going to put in the run and key on Gainwell. No, he's passing. I should have known when Gainwell was in that he wasn't going to run the ball. All right. Down by six, 203 left in the third quarter. I'm going to put in the balance because I don't really know how to stop his offense. And uh, neither do we. We're just going to escort him into the end zone for a touchdown. Put in the kick block. It's 27-15. Minute seven left in the third quarter. 
I'm still going to do the run game plan because it's the only thing that we can do to move the ball and keep the ball away from him. Off tackle with Montgomery. Plus, Fields can't complete even high percentage passes. So, we got two yards there. I don't. Let's try a flat pass. I mean, I don't know why he can't complete a flat pass more often than he does. But we're going to go flat to the wide receiver, Pettis. And it's incomplete. I mean, he just doesn't do that. That's not something he does. He doesn't complete high percentage passes. Um, well, you've got to you got to go flat to St. Brown. You've got to pass the ball now. I mean, and he does get the first down, thank God. Now I can go back to the run plays. You can see Fields was 3 of 15 for 34 yards and no touchdowns before th that pass. All right, um, off tackle with Herbert. And he gets stopped, maybe at the line. Yep, zero yards. Uh, second and 10 at the 37. I'm going to put in a line buck with Herbert. And he gets some yards, but not a lot. Three yards, and we're going to have a third and seven coming up. I'm going to put in the draw play with Fields. And he gets stopped very quickly. Zero yards. Huh. Fourth and seven at the Chicago 40. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for it. And we're going to do a flat pass. Montgomery and he just can't complete you got to figure one of these times he's going to complete it but he doesn't he never does all right we're gonna look for the run 1259 left in the game mercifully mercifully or mercilessly Either one, either way you want to look at it. He's up 28-15, so he's, you know, almost doubled our score. I'm going to look for the run. He does run, and we do stop him quickly, but he's already got a field goal. I'm going to look for the run again. No, this time he's passing. And we stop him just after he catches the ball, luckily. So he gets five yards on that. He's got a third and three. I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Hertz. No, but we did stop him, so he should kick a field goal. Nope, he's not going to do that. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to look for the run and Keon Hurts. And I did that and I got rewarded by allowing a first down and 6-yard run by Jalen Hurts. So he's got a first and goal to 7. I was man, why wouldn't you just kick the field goal? I mean, you're killing me. And you want to, you just want to make it worse. So that's incomplete. I'm going to look for the run again. And it's incomplete. And I'm not going to fall for it this time. I think he's going to run on third and goal from the seven. Uh, yeah. And I'm going to key on Sanders. 
And uh, we're going to take the ball, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to fall on the ball. So, yeah. We stopped him. So we got a little too greedy there, and it came back to nip him. Although it's not going to come back to nip him, you know, in the end, because he's still going to end up winning this game. There's 9.39 left. We got to go a long way to get any kind of score. And I'm going to go off tackle with Montgomery. But it's at least it's only 28-15 instead of, like, 35-15, like it could have been. So that's three mistakes he's made. He's turned the ball over three times, and we couldn't really um, capitalize on it enough to stay really close to him. Off tackle with Montgomery. And he's only going to get, like, nothing there. One yard. He got one yard. Third and five. Third and five, I'm going to go looking pass to Claypool. Again, incomplete. Can't complete it. Going to definitely punt. And they're going to do a fair catch, it looks like, right there. So they got a first and 10 at their own 45. I'm putting in the pass defense. 740 left in the game. They run the ball. We get him after four or five yards, five yards. I'm going to put in the run, just a general run defense. And he does run the ball. And we do get him after no gain or a negative gain. Zero yards. So he's got a third and five. Third and five I'm putting in the pass, even though I know he could run the ball and get the first down, and there's a penalty on the play, and they're letting him play, so it's probably on us. Yep, it's on us. So it's first and ten at the Chicago 31. Putting in the pass defense. He's going to run. And we're not going to get him until he gets a really big gain. Hertz takes an end run for 17 yards. I'm going to put in a run and key on Sanders. He's going to pass. It's incomplete. I'm going to put in the run and key on Sanders. And this time he runs himself. It hurts, I think. And we got him. We got him pretty quickly. Yep. Yeah. Got hurts after three yard gain. Third and seven, now I'm putting in the pass. And he is going to pass. And we stop him at the one-yard line. Ten-yard completion on that. And 438 left. I'm going to look for the run and key on Sanders. He's going to pass, and it's incomplete. I'm going to look for the run and key on Sanders. And he does run the ball, and we do stop him. He lost a yard, it looks like. Yep. So 
so I'm not I'm not even going to change it I'm gonna look for the run and key on Hertz and he gets the touchdown keying on him yeah that didn't work he gets a two-yard touchdown run with that put in the kick defense to try to stop the extra point it doesn't really matter though it's gonna be 35-15 we are down by 20 points. And he's kicking off. And we get another good return. Really good return. Down 35 15, first and 10 at our own 43. Going to go off tackle with Ebner. Mr. Ebner. Ebner. Look at that guy. Treston Ebner runs the ball for eight yards. And we're going to do a draw play with Fields on second and two. And he gets about a yard. No, he gets zero. And we're going to go blocking back. No, not that one. Okay. And we're going to go line buck with Montgomery on third and two. And he gets the first down, so we're going to keep the ball. That's really my only motivation here, is to just keep the ball as long as possible. Closing in on the two-minute warning. And it is the two-minute warning, and we got a first and ten at the Philadelphia 46. Let's put in the pro set and go short to St. Brown. And he's out on the run, but he still gets sacked. He couldn't get out of the backfield. Got a second and ten. I'm going to go short to Pettis. He's going to get sacked. This is a tough team. I tell you, the Bears are a tough. They've been a tough team to play this season. And, you know, we played pretty true to, uh, to ourselves. We got a third and 17. I'm going long to Pettis. I don't even care. And it's incomplete off Pettis' fingertips. Uh, we will punt, yes. I'm going to look for the pass. See, he really shouldn't be passing right now, but he is. It's incomplete. I'm going to look for the run. Oh, they got Minshew in, apparently, too. I, I was looking for the run. No, you don't understand. I was looking for the run. Boston Scott didn't really care, though. Still got 13 yards. And that's it. Game over. So let's check the stats. Let's check these final depressing stats. Hertz was 19 of 34 for 242 yards and two touchdowns and an interception. Minshew had one incomplete pass. Fields was 4 of 19 for 44 yards. That is despicably bad. 
Um, the rushing stats, Sanders had 15 for 64. Jalen Hurts had 9 for 93. Boston Scott had 5 for 35. And Gainwell had 2 for 5. For us, Herbert had 14 rushes for 90 yards. Justin Fields had 11 for 48. Montgomery had 9 for 45. And Ebner, big Ebner, Treston Ebner had 1 for 8 yards. I'll let you look at the receiving stats. Again, very depressing. And uh, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.